When we hear about rocket launches, the first company that comes to mind is SpaceX, without a doubt. Some might say it's just because of Musk's influence and his social media promoting his businesses. While that plays a part, it's not the whole story. SpaceX has introduced many revolutionary ideas to the aerospace industry, setting a new standard that many companies are now following. SpaceX's hard work is paying off, and recently they secured one of the biggest contracts ever. In this video, we'll discuss this major contract and how it's going to change everything. Before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX, the private space company founded by Musk, recently won a significant contract from the Pentagon. This contract, worth part of $5.6 billion, was awarded for launching national security satellites. SpaceX, along with Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance, will be responsible for about 34 missions over the next five years. The U.S. Department of Defense needs reliable and secure ways to launch satellites into space. These satellites are crucial for national security. To ensure these satellites can be launched as needed, the Department of Defense awarded contracts to several companies. SpaceX won about 40% of the missions in this contract. They will use their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets for these launches. The Falcon 9 is known for its reusable first stage, which helps reduce launch costs. The Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket, can carry heavy payloads making it ideal for these important missions. The competition for this contract was very tough. Besides SpaceX, Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance also received portions of the contract. Blue Origin, owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, will use its new rocket, New Glenn, which is still in development. ULA will use its Vulcan Centaur rocket, designed to replace older models like the Atlas V. Winning this contract is a big deal for SpaceX. Financially, it provides a steady stream of income, which helps fund other projects like the Starship spacecraft. Like we said, SpaceX receives approximately 40% of the total contract. This means SpaceX stands to gain around $2.2 billion from the contract over the next five years. This significant influx of funds can be channeled into multiple projects. For instance, each Falcon 9 launch costs about $62 million. With $2.2 billion, SpaceX could fund approximately 36 Falcon 9 launches. This allows them to maintain their robust schedule of commercial and governmental launches, continuing to build on their reputation for reliability and efficiency. Regarding the Starship development, each prototype of the Starship vehicle costs roughly $216 million. With the funds from this contract, SpaceX could develop around 10 Starship prototypes. This substantial investment in Starship is crucial as SpaceX aims to make Starship the primary vehicle for missions to Mars and beyond. Additionally, the contract's revenue helps support the broader objectives of SpaceX, including the expansion of the Starlink satellite constellation, which aims to provide global high-speed internet. While SpaceX and even smaller companies like Blue Origin are securing multi-billion dollar contracts, Boeing, which is the oldest commercial space company, is facing one problem after another with its Starliner spacecraft. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft has faced many delays and challenges since its inception. The project, which was expected to restore America's ability to launch astronauts into space from U.S. soil, began with high hopes and a significant investment from NASA. In 2014, NASA awarded Boeing a $4.2 billion contract to develop the Starliner as part of its commercial crew program. The goal was to have a reliable spacecraft ready by 2017. The need for a new spacecraft became pressing after the retirement of the Space Shuttle program in 2011. The Space Shuttle had been the backbone of America's human spaceflight capability for three decades, but it faced significant safety concerns. The Challenger disaster in 1986 and the Columbia disaster in 2003, where both shuttles were lost along with their crews. With the shuttle program retired, the U.S. faced the uncomfortable reality of relying on Russian Soyuz spacecraft to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. This dependency was not only costly but also politically sensitive. It became clear that America needed to develop its own capability to launch astronauts into space again. 
In response, NASA initiated the Commercial Crew Program, an ambitious effort to foster public-private partnerships to develop new spacecraft. Alongside Boeing's Starliner, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft was also developed as part of this initiative. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft has been remarkably successful. The Dragon successfully completed its first crewed mission, Demo-2, in May 2020. This historic flight marked the first time astronauts launched from U.S. soil since the end of the Space Shuttle program. It has become the most reliable spacecraft for ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station, completing multiple crewed missions without significant issues. The success of SpaceX, especially, has made people question Boeing's failure to deliver a similar spacecraft, despite receiving almost double the amount of money from NASA. Starliner's first flight to the International Space Station was back in 2019. However, the mission was cut short due to multiple software issues that prevented the spacecraft from reaching the International Space Station. One of the primary issues was a timer anomaly. The spacecraft's mission elapsed timer was incorrectly initialized due to a software error, causing an 11-hour discrepancy. This error prevented the thrusters from firing at the right time to reach the planned orbit, leading the spacecraft to consume more fuel than expected, which ruled out the planned docking with the space station. Additionally, during the mission, a valve mapping error was discovered. This issue affected the thrusters in the vehicle's service module, which are responsible for performing a disposal burn after separating from the crew module before re-entry. Had this error not been corrected in time, it could have caused a collision between the service module and the crew module, potentially damaging the capsule's heat shield. A second uncrewed test flight for Boeing's Starliner was initially scheduled for 2020, but faced multiple delays, eventually launching successfully in May 2022. This mission provided the necessary data to move forward with a crewed flight test. However, the path to the crewed test was not smooth. On June 5, 2024, Boeing's Starliner finally launched with NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams on board. The spacecraft docked at the International Space Station the next day. The mission's primary goal was to conduct a comprehensive on-orbit test of the spacecraft, initially planned to last about a week. However, this mission encountered several issues even before launch. One significant problem was a helium leak in the spacecraft's propulsion system, which was detected during the countdown for a launch attempt on May 6, 2024. Initially, engineers believed the leak was minor enough to permit the launch, but further tests showed it persisted, causing a delay to address the issue. This helium leak was traced to a flange in a thruster within the spacecraft's service module. Engineers attempted to tighten bolts around the leak and performed additional tests to ensure the system retained sufficient performance and redundancy during the flight. Despite these efforts, the helium leak caused multiple delays. The launch was rescheduled several times, finally taking place on June 5, 2024, after NASA and Boeing determined the leak was stable enough not to pose a risk. Even after reaching the space station, Starliner faced additional challenges such as thruster glitches during the docking process, which engineers monitored and addressed. Initially scheduled to return to Earth on June 18th, Boeing's Starliner mission faced multiple delays, pushing the return date to June 22nd, and it may extend even further. One of the main reasons for the delay was the discovery of a helium leak we just talked about. During its time at the station, the crew and engineers continued to address the helium leak and other issues, such as a sticky oxidizer valve and faulty thrusters. The long-term goal for Boeing's Starliner spacecraft is to support six-month missions docked at the International Space Station. Despite these ambitious plans, Boeing's goal of making the Starliner commercially operational by 2025 appears challenging given the persistent technical issues the spacecraft has faced. These issues not only delay current missions, but also cast doubt on the spacecraft's readiness for long-term, routine use. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.